Hi everybody, today we're at the home of Crybaby Performance where we try and they cry. Today we're doing an engine tech on how to see if your engine's any good or not. It's pretty simple with a leak down tool, so we're going to explain the process. We have an old UT1 uh, here that's been through several different hands. You got, uh, it looks like Baker's been in this motor before, A Main's been in this motor before, and somebody NC's been in this motor. So we're gonna see if it's any good. Okay, so here we have the tools to do a leak down. You need a 10 millimeter on your impact, your spark plug tool, and a leak down tester, which you can buy this at any um, auto part auto part store off the internet. So we're going to start by getting the spark plug out. And I noticed the spark plug's cracked on the porcelain. That could be why this wasn't running so great. If you over tighten a spark plug, you'll crack it, and that may be the case on this one. Now in these little engines, I like to take the valve cover off and take the pressure off the valves. Now with the leak down tester, you're going to be testing the intake valve, the intake valve, how, how good it's seating to the valve seat, the exhaust valve, how well that's seating to the exhaust seat down here. And then you'll be checking the rings because when you put air in the cylinder, it's pushing on the piston and pushing on the valves. Now, if any one of those are excessively leaking, you'll be able to hear it, but you'll also be able to see it on the gauge. So we're gonna screw in our hose into the cylinder. Now this can be finicky because it's just this O-ring sealing the cylinder. And if you tighten it too much, it'll balloon it out and not enough it'll leak. So sometimes we have to adjust that. Okay, then we uh, want to take the pressure off of the valve tree. Okay, so the intake valve and the exhaust valve are all the way up. The springs are holding them all the way up. Now we're going to plug in a tester. This has a zero on it at 100 PSI. So you really need an air compressor that goes to about 120 so that you can keep that at 100 and this at zero. And now when we plug in our hose, no matter where the piston is, it's going to shoot it to the bottom, so the engine might rock as we do this. So I like to plug this in slower, and it rocked. Okay, now we have the um, gauges set. I can hear it leaking, so let's see where it might be leaking from. That's the exhaust valve right there. If you put your ear to it, or the microphone, you might hear that it's leaking a little bit. That's not bad. And then if you put your ear to the carburetor side, you can hear if that's leaking. And I don't believe that's leaking at all. It's usually the exhaust valve that's leaking. Then if you come around to the back here, and you take the drain, fill out. You can hear that leaking. Yep, it's hissing a little bit. Which that's always going to leak or hiss because the ring gaps in these engine are so big um, that it's always going to you're always going to hear it in the crankcase. Now the big thing is the exhaust valve because the exhaust valve gets so hot and it warps the exhaust valve and uh, that needs to be taken off and lapped 
periodically to have a fresh engine. So talk about this gauge a little bit. So that's at zero. You're losing a little bit of pressure. Okay, because this had 100 PSI on it. It's running through this gauge. But right there, that's that's minimal. You're losing hardly anything. No, because you're losing it through the rings. So will it ever be at zero? No. It, it might be a little tighter if, it, if this had a brand new fresh valve job. Um, and um, a rebuild you might get the gauge down to about halfway, but it's never gonna be at zero because the rings are leaking. Right. So you can do this on any engine. And you can do this on your car engine, your boat motor. You could tell how good any engine is by doing a leak down on the motor. So this motor, even though it looks kind of cruddy, is really not a bad engine. So, in conclusion, make sure you take the pressure off of the valves because if it's if it's got the pressure, it, the valve could be cracked a little bit. And then, if you have a leaky leaky valve, okay, and you want to see how bad that valve is leaking, you can sometimes reseat the valve. I have to overcome the pressure of the engine, but and that's reseating the valve. And it didn't change any. It didn't change any because it's probably gotten hot a lot of times. So that pretty much concludes our uh, leak down test of this motor. If you like our video, give us a thumbs up. And this is a pretty simple tool. You can get it at pretty much any auto parts store or online. Thanks for watching Crybaby videos. Give us a thumbs up.